Hello, you've reached the David Bowie line. How can I help you? Hello, sir, are you over 60? Right, I'll have to put you through to our 60s David Bowie. Oh, ha, 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 I'm the laughing gnome and how can I help you? Oh, you're looking for something more conventional. I'll put you through to the 80s Bowie. Let's dance, put on your red shoes. Ooh. You want what? Oh. Tin machine? Tin machine? I'm afraid there's not much call for that. I can put you through to 90s Bowie. Jungle drum and bass, remember? Ooh. You really want tin machine? Oh, hang on to yourself. How did any of the tin machine stuff go? I don't know. Was uh, it ooh? No, that's a uh, Aladdin saying. What about ow? That's Thin White Duke. Ow? No, that that could be it. No, I've just got cramp in my foot. Ooh. Ow. I'll make it up and see what happens. I'm doing a bit of origami. <coughs> yes. Oh, yes, we do have some tin machine. I'm putting you through now. Just make it up. Make it up. Uh, uh, like um, a, a star man. Mm. Ashes to dance with my china little wonder. Fame. Ooh. Uh, we could be heroes of the yellow submarine. Oops, I mean heroes of Jean. Jean, is there life on Suffragette City? Ziggy plays guitar. Hello. Hello. He, he hung up. Oh dear, I think it could be that our impressions of David Bowie sound a little bit like Norman Wisdom. Or a Dalek. Or a Dalek. Yes, but it's true. Hello, it's us actually. If you thought to thinking that that really was David Bowie. Well, who were those two guys who I, just left the studio? Oh yeah, you no. oh, you tricked me, you double bluffed. We oh, did no, have did. two David Bowie clones coming mm. in here, uh, wandering in, doing their Bowieist, uh, Bowieist, Because he's got yes. a new album which no one seems to care. I think it's, I've heard it. And it's very weird and jazzy and peculiar. Oh, right. He's going uh, back to his jazz roots. I think he has. Mm. I think he's... Very, I like the fact that he is now gone weird again. A bit like my, infl <laughs> my inflections when I spoke then. Right, Because yes. he went kind of normal in the noughties. Because he did that drum, drum and bass in the 90s that no one remembers. No, Thank goodness. No. And then he sort of went, oh, I think I'll do some standard pop. And people went, eh. So then he went I a bit weird. I think I'll sell insurance. He might do that. We'll yes. find out that later. It's the, it's the, it's the, Mr. I know Iggy, that that was uh, Iggy that was Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop, Pop yes. Yes, yes. I wonder who his impression of. Oh, you mean Iggy Pop did in, uh, did insurance? He that, did sell that insurance, peculiar, didn't he? Yeah. isn't it? Mm. But he's only insured if he carries a small puppet of himself around. Right. Which is what I'm doing right now. I have a small ventriloquist puppet. Watch. Hello, I am Little Elliot. It would help if I changed the voice, wouldn't it? It would do. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and practice. And I always think ventriloquism is. Wasted on the radio. Although it was big in the 50s. Everything, radio ventriloquist. Yeah. Everything was big in the 50s. Mm. How old are you? <laughs> 50. And you're huge! Yes! Yes, sir. Hello, yes, news just in. David Berry is suing us. That's right, with the release of his new album, uh, basically he needs more publicity. And I'm going over now to Mark Keegan, who has stood outside David Bowie's house with his hands in the air, waving them like he just doesn't care. Mark, tell us more about how Bowie is enraged by this. Uh, well, he's, uh, I can see through his bathroom window. Ow, what are you doing? And, um, he seems to be walking... How dare you insult my voice? He seems to just be kind of walking around his apartment in, uh, a floppy hat and, um, some very old-fashioned, uh, pants. Okay, because basically, if we could... If we could sort of, uh, okay, I'm, get, I'm getting some, uh, yeah, his, his lawyer's arrived. His lawyer has a very similar voice to David Berry. So, uh, um, Mr. Lawyer, is that your name? My name is Mr. Lawyer. Hello there. And uh, what, what is your client saying about our impressions, our tribute, our homage to Mr. Mr. Jones? He <laughs> wants you to cease and desist from impersonating him. But the thing is, though, our impressions are pretty lousy. They could have been anybody, to be honest. You know, I mean, you know. Was well, I think he clearly thinks that you are spoofing his very particular type of speaking. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, well, we're going over to Bowie's wife now, who probably sounds identically the same. Mrs. Bowie, how do you feel about how we've insulted your husband? 
I'm very concerned. I speak like him, but in a much higher register. Ah, uh, and your teenage son is here also, who's got a slightly deeper version of your voice. <laughs> okay. Are you upsetting my dad? I'm sorry about that. Actually, that's the, that's the most very convincing Barry noise I have heard all day. That sounds like modern Barry. There you go. Anyway, oh, so... And I think he, here's the dog. Woof! <laughs> Okay, well, uh, hello. More on the uh, the Bowie news update. Uh, you might have realised earlier on we did a Bowie skit. Me, uh, skit. Me and Mark are a bit nervous because uh, Mr. Barry or Mr. Bowie is not happy about that at all, and he's got his lawyer sorted out. We spoke to his lawyer earlier on. Um, also, we got some interesting uh, snip snaps from uh, celebrities. Uh, Michael Caine said this. Good morning, there. I don't like to see my good mate David Bowie being treated like this on the radio. Uh, he also said this more realistically. He, he didn't sound like himself, but let's. I think he had a bit of a cold. Later on, he sounded like Dave, uh, Michael Caine. Let's see what he sounded like then. I don't like this constant knocking of people's impressions of me. There you go. And uh, we also had, I believe it was Cheryl, what's her name from... Uh, from Cole. Pardon? Cole. Cole. We had Cheryl Cole and she said something along the lines of this. I pet, yeah, so I took a photo of myself like a couple of days ago and I looked really sad. But today I took a photo of myself and I was smiling and I looked really good. And you know, like X Factor and everything, I'm a, my marriage is absolutely fine now. Okay, well we couldn't get her to talk about David Bowie because she was preoccupied with herself. So we wrote on a big piece of paper, David Bowie, and she reacted like this. David Bowie? Who's he? Oh, Labyrinth, I remember now. That's good. Well, basically, she continued to then describe how much she liked David Berry in that film, usually referring to his trousers. Oh, he's got lovely trousers, hasn't he? That was all she said. Okay, well, that's the news so far. Uh, later on, we'll be looking into David Berry's trousers. 